cash book. What what are the subsidiary books? So one is a cash book, mind you, though we call it a subsidiary book because the journal, the journal basically is being split into this, into this eight kinds. What what does it mean? Though we record all transactions, all tra cash and bank transactions will be first recorded in the cash book. Therefore, it becomes a book of original entry and a journal. But when we discuss the cash book, which we shall not do. Here we will do it in the next module. The format is like that of a journal. We do not prepare a separate cash and bank book. Since transactions, cash and bank transactions will be recorded first in the cash book, it is called a journal. But since it has the format of a ledger account and we do not have a separate cash and bank account, it is also a ledger account. So it is not really a subsidiary book, it is actually a principal book of account. What is a purchase day book or it is called a purchase journal, purchase journal or a purchase day book. It is a book in which we will record all credit purchases of goods, credit purchases of goods. Not credit purchase, what do you mean by goods? Goods are those which we purchase in order to sell. So, if I am a cloth dealer, the clothes that I buy in order to sell, those would be my goods, credit purchases and would be put in purchase account. But if I buy furniture, it is a furniture account, not good. So, credit purchase of goods, credit purchase of goods is recorded in the purchase day book. Similarly, the sales day book or it is called the sales journal, sales journal, all credit Credit sales of goods. Credit sale of goods. If we sell our old furniture, that is not a credit sale of goods. That is a credit sale of furniture. If we sell old newspapers, that is not really a sale of uh, goods. It is a sale of old newspapers. We are talking only of a credit sale and a credit sale of goods. Credit sale of goods. That is recorded in the sales day book or sales journal. Similarly, we may have a purchase return day book or a purchase return journal where all returns, all purchase returns are recorded. Mind you, these are of course purchase returns in on credit. Suppose there is a purchase return and cash has to be paid. In that case, it will be entered in the cash book since all cash transactions are recorded in the cash book. Next, you have a sales return day book or a sales return journal. Sales return day book or a sales return journal. What do we record there? All sales returns, all credit sales returns would be recorded there. If there are many, many bills receivable or many, many bills payable, we could also put all bills receivable in a bills receivable book and all bills payable in a bills payable book. Any other transaction, any other transaction is recorded in the journal proper. Any other transaction is recorded in the journal proper. What is the journal proper? It is what we had done before. It had a format with date, particulars, ledger folio, debit and credit amount. So only other transactions. If there is a credit purchase of goods, we do not put it in the journal proper. We will put it in the purchase table. When there is a credit sale of goods, we put it in the sales day book and not in the journal proper. But if we have a credit sale of furniture, we cannot put it in the cash book, we cannot put it in the sales day book, it will not fit in any of these and therefore in that case, we will put it in the journal proper in the format that we had discussed before. Now let us see what are the, what are the formats and how we record in these day books and how we post from these day books to the ledger accounts. So what are these books? These are called subsidiary books because, because the ledger accounts are prepared on the basis of these subsidiary books. The principal book of accounts is prepared on the basis of these subsidiary books. The purchase day book, sales day book, purchase return day book, sales return day book, bills receivable book, bills payable book and journal proper. The cash book 
is not really a subsidiary book it is a part of the main ledger account and therefore it is a principal book of account a part of the principal books of account cash book is both a journal as well as a ledger we'll discuss the cash book in the next module let us go through the other subsidiary books